it's about time. What's going on? Yo. Rumor Report. Rumor Report. This is the Rumor Report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Bro, Oprah was on her first podcast ever with The Hollywood Reporter, and she talked about a lot of different things. She talked about hitting rock bottom and growing up with her mother in Milwaukee when she got pregnant. Here, Here's what she said. I hit rock bottom. I became pregnant. By the uncle? Or, mm-hmm. yeah. And hid the pregnancy. I would intended to kill myself, actually. I planned on killing. I thought there's no way out other than killing myself. And... I was just planning on how to do it. You know, if I'd had the internet now, I might not be alive because now you can just Google how to do it. Damn. Mm. Right. Well, she got raped by her uncle Mm -hmm. when she was only 14 years old. And that's what led her to wanting to consider suicide. Well, we're glad she uh, made the right decision. Her father said that was that she had a miscarriage actually is what happened. And her father called that a second chance for her. So she said she took in those words as a mantra throughout her life that helped her reach the level of success that she's at today. She also, in this podcast, talked about the rough beginnings of OWN, the Oprah Winfrey Network, and all the mistakes that she made through that. And she talks about the usage of the N-word and what happened uh, with everything with Bill Maher, here's what she said. That I think word. the word should be eliminated from the uh, the lexicon. I think it should be eliminated for everybody. I have been on record being anti the word, period. Nobody should be allowed to say it. I agree with her 360%. And the reason I agree with her 360% is because when you know better, you got to do better. And it's like it was a point in time. And I, like, first of all, black people have always made the best out of the worst. AKA chitlins. All right. But it comes a point in time uh, where you grow, it, but Disgusting. you grow, you grow and you evolve and you don't eat hog at all anymore. Like there's nothing positive about that word. And instead of trying to turn that word into a positive, let's just use words that are already positive, like king and brother and God. Like we don't have to flip that word. Okay. Into so a we positive. will remind you every time. I'm trying. It's just right. that it's just these these N words is out here. Okay, <laughs> and it's hard. So these now, kings out here. I'm trying. Some of them. Everybody ain't a king now. Let's be clear. I'm just. I'm just I'm All right, now brothers. let's let's get into the Forbes list. They just released their world's highest paid athletes, and in the top ten, there are four NBA players, two soccer players, a tennis player, a golfer, and a Formula One racer. Who do you think is number one on the list? Made ninety three million dollars last year. LeBron James, Floyd Mayweather. Number one is Cristiano Ronaldo. He's soccer, soccer player. player. There you go. That's, ball. that's, that's a ball. penis y'all should be trying to get penetrated with. Them soccer players. Anyway, number two on the list is actually LeBron. He made mm-hmm. $86.2 million. Number three is Lionel Messi, soccer player also. See Four what I'm is saying? Roger Federer. Five is Kevin Durant. What Roger Federer do? Uh, he made $64 million. He plays tennis. No, what tennis, do do? tennis, oh, tennis, okay. tennis. All right. Also on the list, uh, Steph Curry's on the list at number eight. James Harden's number nine. And Lewis Hamilton, the Formula One racer, is at number ten. Ain't no more soccer players up there? Just two. I'm surprised Floyd's not two. on that list. Well, he hasn't fought in the last yeah, year. True. This is just from mm-hmm. last year. Right. So once he does his next fight, he'll definitely be on the list. And let's get into that fight because he is going to be fighting Conor McGregor. Trash that fight is going to be happening on August 26th. I and here see this is one. what Dana White had to say about the fight. You know, the negotiations went a lot better and a lot smoother than I thought they would. You know, the impossible deal is now happening. August 26th at the T-Mobile in Vegas. All right. And he said that Connor is expected to make around $100 million for the fight, but he didn't break down all the financials. They letting Connor McGregor get $100 million. I'm just trying to figure out what has Connor McGregor done to earn the right to be in a boxing ring with Floyd Mayweather. I don't watch UFC. Is he one of the biggest fighters in UFC? Um, He's the biggest? Yo, he, he might be the most UFC famous. Fighter. Right. He might be the most, and they, most famous. Well, that's the I'm thinking why. of John Bon Jones. And weight-wise, they'll be fighting at 154 pounds. So. Uh, I just, I just think, it's a, I think it's disrespectful to the sport of boxing, man. All right. Well, I am Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.